All right, I wanna look at five things that Ableton Push can do that'll change your workflow. I'm using Push 1 here, but it should work exactly the same way on Push 2 or 3. So the first one is velocity on step mode, on the step sequencer. And uh, this is usually the default that you would have as if you, if you use this mode at all, this is where you would record whatever you wanna do. And uh, this does the loop length here if you wanna do three or four, anyways. So the th problem with this is you're doing this, and then if you want, if you want the snare here, the velocity is exactly the, the same. If you wanted a stronger snare, you usually would go into Ableton push, or <laughs> into Ableton and deal with it there. But what we can do here is just hit this note button here that's actually grayed out and see how the, the modes can change. This is the one we're looking for here with these pads down here. So this is a velocity. So if we take this, we look at this is the highest, this is gonna be the lowest. So if we want that snare to really be bang, notice how the blues are a little bit darker. So the velocity is stronger. If we want just a softer snare, you can hardly hear it. Let's do this one here. So it could be really useful, especially if you want to do if you want to do a a ride symbol and then and you can go in and change some of these. Maybe have it a little bit stronger. Anyways, that could be really useful and uh, yeah, it's really easy to do. And then when you wanna go back to it, you just hit note and you go back into your regular step sequencer here. The second thing is this touch strip here that would usually be a pitch bend. If you have a MIDI keyboard, you may have two wheels. One of them is a pitch bend and the second one is the mod wheel. But in this case, we only have the one and we can actually switch it over. So instead of having this run as a pitch bend, you can use a touch strip and it becomes a mod wheel. So instead of having something like this, you can go over here to select, you hold that down and then you'll notice this here where all these are lit up. Just hit anywhere in the touch bar and you'll notice at the top here, where it switches. I'm trying to move my, my arm around this, this tripod with the, the camera and the light. So, um, and see, as, as you hit it, you can tell at the top there where it's switching from pitch bend to mod wheel. So once you have it on mod wheel, you can let go of select and then use whichever mod wheel settings there are in the synth or the sound that you're using. So it's a really nice way to switch over. And if you want to switch back, just hit select again, hold it down, press this, and it becomes a pitch bend again. So you can go back to doing whatever whatever you were doing before. And the nice thing is too, whatever you switch it to, next time you use your push, uh, it will actually keep whatever setting you, you used last. So I tend to use uh, the mod wheel a lot more lately, so I usually leave it on there. And uh, that's a really easy way to do it. So I'll just do a quick recording here. And you can tell it's off the grid. And then usually we'd hit quantize and it would just move everything to the grid. Sometimes we don't want that because we want it to be a little bit more natural. So we want to keep some of the settings. So we'll just hit control Z and undo. I'll show you another trick to do that in a moment. But so this is back off the grid the way, the way we did it originally. And what we can do is hit quantize, but don't let it go. And then you'll notice at the top here, the quantize, quantize amount and the 1 16th or whatever, you can adjust whatever. But sometimes I like playing around with this and maybe going to, let's say 60, we'll do 61, 60. And then when we hit quantize, so you let it go. And then when you hit it again, you can tell that it 
moved stuff over, but not exactly on the grid. So it leaves it a little bit more natural. You might not notice it that much with pads, but you'll definitely notice with pianos or something like that. So uh, that's a real easy way. And then if you want to get it back to 100%, I usually leave it on 100% unless I'm doing something specific. You just do the same thing, press it down. And then next time you hit it, everything will go right back to 100% on the grid. So that's a really easy way to play around with the quantized settings and get a more natural feel in your in your tracks. Number four is sort of based on the undo button that I just mentioned. I usually use the keyboard, but there is an undo button right here where you can do stuff. But let's say I just hit, I just hit undo here and let's just, just say that I didn't want to undo. I actually liked it the way it was. If you look through, there's no redo button anywhere on here, but there is a trick. You just hit shift and hit the undo again and it'll go back to what it was. So uh, shift and undo is your redo and that might save you a whole lot of work if, uh, if you use the undo button a lot in a day and then you need to make any changes after that. Now number five is a little bit different than these other ones. This requires moving the camera a little bit. If you use a sustain pedal and you have it plugged into this first input here, if you go to the second one instead, so if you choose a clip of where you'd like to record and you make sure that it's record enabled here, as soon as you tap the pedal, it will actually start recording for you. You can't stop it, that's the only thing, so you'll have to go the regular way and stop your recording. But the interesting thing is, if you want to record multiple takes, you can double tap the pedal, it will actually create a new clip for you, and then as soon as you hit it once again, you can record on that one. You can do that as often as you want. So that's a great feature to have. And uh, a lot of people don't even know that it's it's in there. I, did, I only learned that recently and I've been using this Ableton Push for years. So I hope these things can help you out to make some great music with your Ableton Push. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.